And the town manager's report. Mr. Chairman, me members of the board, um, town offices and facilities for citizens, and uh, you should be aware they're going to be we're going to be closed on Friday, December 25th, uh, so the employees can celebrate Christmas with their families. Um, there will be no selectmen's meeting next Monday, December 28th, because the board had previously voted not to hold that session. Uh, warrant articles for town meeting must be filed by 5 p.m. January 12, 2016, in the selectman's office. Pro property owners who wish to file for elderly, blind, veterans, or any other type of exemption allowed by state law or for current use must do so by March 1, 2016. Please inquire of the assessing department as state forms are required to be completed in many cases. We want to make sure those are in and done in time. Residents of the Hampton Beach Precinct who wish to avail themselves of the alternate property tax rate should contact the assessing department to obtain and complete the necessary forms that are required for that purpose. Town offices will be closed January 1st. Uh, if you have a vehicle registration that needs to be completed before the end of the month, please do not wait until the final day. <laughs> Those lines tend to be a little long, and you don't want to be standing outdoors waiting. Everyone, please enjoy a safe and very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I have a, a number of other things, uh, uh, Mr. Vice Chairman, okay. <laughs> that, uh, that need to be addressed. Go ahead. Uh, for those who are interested, and I, there may be a few. Uh, I want to just tell you that there will be a special election to fill the state representative seat for the town of Hampton. Uh, that uh, it begins Tuesday, January 19th. Uh, it will begin at 7 uh, o'clock in the a.m. and be closed at 8 o'clock in the p.m. for the voting. Uh, we're not sure, but that may be a primary. If that is a primary, uh, the number of people required to, to, in fact, have a primary on that date run, uh, that will be the primary date. And the election date would then be uh, March 8th, which is the annual town meeting date. Oh, It'll be coterminous if, if we need to have a primary. If we do not have a primary, then January 19th, 2018 will, in fact, be the election day. Wow. So uh, persons who are interested in declarations of candidacy may file with the town clerk on December 21 and 22 of this year. That's yes, today and tomorrow, um, during normal business hours. You may file with the Secretary of State from December 21 through December 24th and Monday, December 28, 2015, if you are interested in being a candidate. So those are the relevant dates as we know them currently. Um, we've done the review of the Mill Pond Dam, so I'm not going to belabor you with that. We have a a draft warrant article which we've given to all of you to correct an error uh, that goes back some, well, some decades to the 1960s. Uh, there was a, and I, this one has a little plan attached to it. I think you all Very received interesting. it. Okay. Uh, there's a portion, actually two portions of this old roadway that need to be abandoned. Uh, one is 1,676 square feet, and the other is 1,758 square feet. The owner of the parcel above wishes to purchase the parcel below. But in order to originally combine these lots together, it would be impossible for the person to redo the lot below because they would then have no frontage mm. without this road being only partially uh, incompleted. Uh, so. We're looking to discontinue that to help them out in order so they can, they can in fact, do what they want with their properties and, and reestablish these buildings and do it the right way. These properties are going to be, because they're going to continue to be separate properties, um, the upper portion of the discontinuance will go with the upper property and the lower portion of the discontinuance would go with the lower property by state statute. Uh, we're doing it this way so the lower portion of property actually has frontage. Because without doing this, by discontinuing that whole road, that lower property will have no frontage whatsoever, and that will pose a problem for the property owner. So that's, that's for the board to review later on. It's a non-money article, uh, and we'll, we'll get there eventually. Uh, I have great news for the board. Uh, the state of New Hampshire, uh, through the Department of Safety and Homeland Security, 
has awarded the town a $100,000 grant yes. for, the, for the new generator at the wastewater treatment Good. facility that's projected to be in the bond. So that $500,000 generator can now be reverted to a $400,000 generator <coughs> because the state has given us the money to do that. I hope uh, you put that in capital letters and something. It's a unique I'm experience. I'm going to uh, put it in more than capital letters. I think we might actually get a barrage balloon and float it over the uh -huh. town. Um, we had um, we had a request from uh, the TA from uh, the uh, Safe Roads to School program uh, to, in fact, do some improvements, offsite improvements for the academy. We understand that would be in the budget for the academy renovation, uh, and it would provide some quieting of the traffic coming out of Academy Avenue by two small islands at the end so people couldn't park right up the edge of the roadway. Um, plans and stuff. Yeah, I you believe, have Yeah, I believe these could hand it out at some point in time in the process. Uh, but we'll, we'll get there again. I just wanted to call to the board's attention. Uh, the school would be required to come to the board because this is public property and it belongs to the, under the control of the selectmen to approve these little bump outs yeah. so they won't be parking right up to the edge of pavement on the on Academy Avenue. Yeah. And that's the purpose. This would be funded by the school. Uh, there would be no cost to the general taxpayer of the town. And this, this is part of the roads, the safe uh, routes to school program. Um, we had two warrant articles submitted by the school uh, dealing with the renovations of the Academy building. Well, the one by the, one to the so, so town and well one, one to comes the, to town one, to the one goes to school right yeah. uh, there are two parcels of property known as the Arnold property and the Martell property mm -hmm. uh, that sit between the well, what was the old courthouse and the frontage of the school that's owned by the town the Arnold property uh, is property that is used for um, bus parking and bus uh, d depositing children at the school at the at the academy and the martel property is used for parking and in order to complete the school project they would like the town to consider reverting those two pieces of property to the school district as school property right now they're the users of it and that's by a town meeting vote so uh, that would have to go on the warrant if the select one approved i have a question on that Okay, well, let's wait till it's your yeah. turn to ask questions. Okay. Um, lost that one. That's what we get for letting you sit in your office all week. Compensated leave trust fund. Uh, Christy has indicated that uh, there is going to be a generous portion of funds left over. Uh, and we're going to propose to you two individual things that we think should be done. It's okay. up to the board to do that. Okay. One of them has to be done tonight. The other one can be done at a later time. Uh, if there are funds left in the um, employee separation cost subline account and the bank buyback program subline account, and there usually is every year, uh, in the past, the, the board has authorized those funds to be transferred to the Compensated Leave Trust Fund, mm -hmm. which is the $1.4 million that was discussed mm -hmm. tonight for, yep. for debt that the town has and is not funded. As opposed to, this would, if you did that, this would allow us to either continue or withdraw the article that was approved in the warrant. Good. So uh, you need to consider that. We, we, we do need to do something before the end of the fiscal year. So tonight would be a good night to make a decision on that. Um, we also have um, a request, and I think this was in your warrant article separately, uh, from the from the recreation department, and uh, that deals with a the purchase of a scar fire that was in there, yeah. their original proposal for the, for the town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, we've done a lot of work on this, mm -hmm. and um, the cost of that is twenty one thousand nine two hundred and ninety two dollars. Uh, and that includes the interim increase in cost uh, from the not from, from the manufacturer to the supplier mm -hmm. who, who put the acceptable bid in. And we would ask the board uh, to approve that $21,000 sum so that we could, in fact, go ahead on the bid mm -hmm. uh, to go ahead and purchase this piece of equipment. Okay. There were only two bids, and that's why I'm bringing it mm -hmm. to the board. 
So we'd appreciate it if you would approve that this evening. I've also given the board, um, and you received this today, I believe, because I went through the 300 and some odd pages of the 10-year highway program, and I pulled out for you uh, every one of the items dealing with Hampton or a town around Hampton yeah. that may affect us as far as highway work is concerned. That also includes uh, the work that's necessary for um, the Taylor River Dam, which we're walking, oh. watching quite closely. And I did notice in the, in the uh, proposal that was put forward by State DOT that it has either replacement or removal. So they haven't made their mind up yet, but we all know because of the removal, the past process of removal, there was 722,000 cubic yards of yep. contaminated waste behind the dam face that we need to be very careful of because that can have dire effects in the harbor. So I've distributed this to all of you, and we're going to keep an eye on what goes on uh, in that entire process. Uh, we received a con communication today from Eversource, which is, of course, the electric utility that supplies high-tension wires. They run through town, <clears throat> and for the next several weeks, they are going to, between 7 a 30 a.m. and 5 p.m., they're going to be having helicopter crews hover low over these wires, mm -hmm. inspecting them in the various towns where they have the wires, which is about 20. Um, so if you, you get scared out of your wits by someone coming too close to the wires with a helicopter, it's being deliberately done. Uh, the police know about it. The fire department knows about it. Uh, this has been approved by the State Division of Public Utilities. Where is that at? Um, those are up on the western side of town. Yeah. There's a high tension series of lines that come through up off of Timber Swamp Road. And there's a substation up there. It's very important that uh, we uh, <clears throat> let people know so that they're not scared to death when all of a sudden a helicopter comes swooping in over their, the over their property. So, yeah, you never know. <laughs> they did that in Seabrook last year. Yes, and they're, they're doing it again now in several Good. other towns, so we're one of them. Uh, the Health Trust has notified us today officially in writing that the Cadillac tax in the um, Obama health care bill has been delayed for two years until mm -hmm. 2020, yep. and the President has signed the, the bill, so that's, that's done. Good. We did receive today, and we'll be having a meeting with Primex uh, next week, a proposal for them to provide uh, property and liability insurance or workers' compensation insurance to the town. There is, as far as we can determine, something in the area of a $100,000 increase um, in, the, uh, in the cost of insurance. And I, it's, it's, it's fairly important that uh, we analyze that and find out whether or not it's compatible with our current coverage. So we will be meeting with them next week to try to determine that. And then last but not least, thank goodness, um, we have a, um, the chairman of the, the precinct approached me uh, last week <clears throat> and indicated that uh, uh, they're concerned over the uh, new rates for um, fire inspection that was approved by the board for the fireworks for the precinct, and they don't have the money in their budget. Um, my suggestion would be, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, since uh, we do this cooperatively with them, uh, you might consider uh, abating those costs except uh, only for the precinct because they're another governmental unit and everybody else would have to pay their fair share of costs to the, to the fire department for fire services and supervision of all fireworks displays. I leave that to you for your discussion. And are you suggesting that at the following year it would be... We, yeah. We'd amend the ordinance, yes. but you could do it administratively at this point. Uh, and that would solve their problem and um, make relations much easier. My, my recollection, though, was that they um, they said they couldn't meet that payment in their current budget, but in the future, yeah, and it would be agreeable to coming under it. I, I would entertain it as a temporary. Yeah. Okay. Questions for the town manager's report, but not to do with the Warren articles, because we're going to talk about them next. Separately, yeah. Mr. Bridal. You want to, you had the scarifier, you want to make a, uh, have a motion for that? Uh, yes, if I yeah, could. that's sensible. That's, that's a motion on the, on the rec department for the 21,000. 292. 292, I'll make I'll that second. motion. Yeah. Any 
discussion. All those in favor? Unanimous. No what was the other one? That one. You had another one. Uh, the other one was for the compensated leave trust fund. You want to see if there is sufficient funds remaining at the end of the year to transfer those funds over. I'll make that motion too. I'll, I'll second, second that. All those in favor? Unanimous. Nothing else at this time. Mrs. Wolseley. Um, in the minutes of our last meeting, or the December 7th minutes, I, I mentioned something about a, the ramp at Place Cove, and Fred, you said something about not being able to get permission from the state. Um, this is Americans with Disabilities Act. What planet is the state on? Uh, not this one. <coughs> uh, we've made that argument. Um, if we it do doesn't them. seem to be a, a tremendous willingness on their part. What's going to happen? You're being dignified now, a tremendous willingness, yes. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be polite yeah. uh, because I have some other feelings about this. Um, they, have a trem they just don't want to go there right now, and, and I don't know why. Uh, it seemed to me that we could, in fact, put in a set of wooden steps going down there that could be removed during uh, peak winter time when we get a lot of no storms. Wheelchairs aren't going to go down wooden steps. Well, and, and there's, there's just no way to get them down there without building some sort of a ramp. Because yeah, people and, can walk down a ramp. Right, right. But no, you I can't understand. do a wheelchair yeah. downstairs. I understand that. Okay. Um, there's just no way right, way to, right now to do that. Part of the problem is the ledge that's slightly offshore <coughs> <laughs> that's 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 really junk ledge. There's rocks about this big mm, that keep yeah. on coughing up from the ocean, <coughs> and um, they flood that whole area with rocks. So we'd be down there after every high tide with shovels clearing them off. That's a problem, and and we really need to find a way around it. Uh, and and perhaps the way around it, and one of the things we had thought of is to, at the far end of the upper parking lot, which was to build out a uh, an access ramp and have one of those elevators that can go up and down to bring people down to the beach in wheelchairs. Mm. Uh, that's not cheap. I know. It's expensive. Uh, but it would be something that's really permanent and would be protected. Because so. it seems sad that people can't access the beach. We got a lot of complaints about that. Uh, we've tried a number of occasions to do something about it. Mm -hmm. They don't want us building anything down there. I mean, I suppose I can, if the selectmen want me to, I'll just go down and build it and they find us, they find us. What I don't want to do is build it and then to order them to tear it out. Yeah. Okay, thank you for looking into that. I'm going to continue because it needs to be solved. Okay. Any other questions? Appreciate it. Nope. Mr. Bean. Negative. Mr. Negative. Um, thank you for your report. 